Phyllis Diller. She passed away at the age of 95 yesterday after a legendary career in comedy. Her punchlines paved the way for a generation of funny ladies. And ABC's Chris Connolly takes a look back at the show business dynamo. Almost 60 years ago, when mainstream stand-up was more male than Augusta National, Phyllis Diller was a working wife and mother of five who decided to discover on stage if looks could kill. Comedically speaking, that is. I've had so many things done by plastic surgeons to my body. When I die, God won't know me. <laughs> she poked pre-feminist fun at her housewifely shortcomings. I've always been interested in housework. Uh huh. I never did any. <laughs> <laughs> and over and over again, her appearance. And you know, when they play spin the bottle, if they don't want to kiss you, they have to give you a quarter. Well, hell, by the time I was 12 years old, I owned my own home. <laughs> Diller was an instant audience favorite and soon became a frequent foil on Bob Hope's TV specials. Are you sure you're a marriage counselor? Of course. Don't I have a sympathetic face? Well, your face has my sympathy. <laughs> and his tours of Vietnam in the 60s. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? To the camouflage department. If they can make this place look beautiful, think what they can do for me. <laughs> and she wasn't afraid to take on anyone during Dean Martin's body roast. Last time Ronnie ran for office, I saw a pregnant woman wearing a campaign button that said, Reagan's the man. <laughs> Ironically, the woman, quick to criticize her own face, became a devotee of cosmetic surgery. Talk of the work she'd had done became as much a part of her act as the feather boa and her ever-present cigarette holder. Her quick-fire one-liners would make Johnny Carson smile and delight female viewers who saw in her sass all the laughter of their own lives. I was the world's ugliest baby. When I was born, the doctor slapped everybody. Phyllis Diller died in her sleep on Monday at the age of 95. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, New York. I think Sam said it best. She's still funny. Yeah. You know, I hadn't heard lines. the voice in so long, oh. but it cuts right well, through. What a great laugh she had, too. Remember mm -hmm. that cackle? That was something.